New team picked 14th in the conference. The UCLA Bruins coming in with a new head coach, um, Deshaun Foster, a name that I can easily say finally for head coaches. <laughs> um, had a tough had a tough media day at the Big Ten, obviously an opening statement, and maybe a little nervous, maybe didn't know what to say. But they actually bring in a lot of talent from last season, seven offensive starters, five defensive starters, and a guy I'm excited to see being a Notre Dame dude is Rico Flores. See him yeah. in this offense with UCLA. I think he's definitely going to bring – um, some of that, I guess, not, I don't want to say Tyreek Hill S, but that speedy wide receiver, 6'2, that can take the top off. With speaking of the Chiefs, offensive coordinator Eric Bienemy steps in. I think that's something that we're definitely looking forward to seeing. Jeez. But how do you see Eric Bienemy, you know, with this offense in UCLA with Ethan Garbers coming back? Like, I mean, Eric Bienemy, one of the best offensive minds in the NFL, comes down to UCLA. I think it's going to be an interesting fit. Yeah, you know, I think Ethan Garbers has had like two or three different offense coordinators since he's been at UCLA. And I think anytime you can get kind of like the steadying influence of a guy who's been in the NFL for multiple years um, and kind of a well-respected guy making that step down um, from the NFL back into college football, similar to like a Chip Kelly at Ohio State, I think it's going to uh, bode well for Ethan Garbers. Um, they lost a ton of defenders in defensive production. I want to say it was something like 486 it was like 48 and a half tackles for a loss or something like that that they lost from the guys that went to the NFL, which is, if you think about it, that's like almost their entire um, tackles for loss from last year. Um, so a lot to replace. Um, obviously, like you said, Deshaun Foster, a little curious pick to be the head football coach um, with no former uh, coaching experience, uh, head coaching experience. So um, I think Eric bien will also be able to be kind of like a steadying influence that offense coordinator that will actually help Deshaun Foster with that transition. I I know they're ranked so low being 14, but this seems like a team with Eric Bieniemy and stuff like that and what they can do defensively. A lot of new guys, but I kind of expect them to kind of exceed expectations a little bit at least and maybe push for a bowl game. They got at Hawaii week one. You play Indiana. You go at LSU, which is going to be a tough game for UCLA Bruins and for Ethan Garbers. Home against Oregon at Penn State. Um, you go at Rutgers, at Nebraska, at Washington, you got USC at home this year. So um, mm. a very tough schedule for UCLA. We'll see. I, I think they could be Hawaii, Fresno State the last week. We might be a closer game than what people expect with Mikey Keene over there at Fresno State. Um, Minnesota, Rutgers. I don't know. What, I mean, we'll get into our rankings in a second, but hopefully they can make a bowl game, I guess. I mean, UCLA, it's good for the program and them trying to drive towards – you know, being one of those top teams, they needed a lot of NIL. So I think a bowl game would definitely help. Yeah, I mean, UCLA is Jordan branded. So, you know, whenever you you have that jump man on your jersey, there's a lot of recruits that will actually get that opportunity to rep it, similar to mm. Mm. the Oklahoma they, Sooners. Come on, they just released their new jerseys. They look fire. I know the throwback unis do <laughs> yes. look fire. 